guys, Lene Monet here, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, so today we're going to be making seafood boiled ramen noodles. If that's your thing, then come hang with a queen, all right? Because we're about to get right into the video. All right, look, y'all, you already know I wash my hands. We don't got no time to play. Let's get it. So y'all already know we're going to need some noodles. Now, I use these noodles because they're a lot thicker. This is like my favorite kind, y'all. This is the name of the noodles that I'm going to use. You can use whatever noodles you want. I just think you should probably use something a little thicker because it'll absorb the sauce a lot better. Then I got my raw shrimp. I got some corn. I got some lobster tail, some sausage, some lemon, some minced garlic, some crab meat, onion, and unsalted. You see, hold on, my thumb is on it. Okay, there you go. Unsalted butter, okay? Baby, we try not to send that blood pressure straight up out the roof, okay? I'm trying to cut a little bit of corners. Now, listen to me now, okay? Listen. Listen, Linda, listen. Y'all, look who here. Oh, faithful. Girl, it's been a while. So, I'm just going to drop me some butter up in here like this. You don't even really need this, to be honest. But I'm going to do this, but you don't need this. And the only reason I'm going to do this is because I'm cooking so many things up in this pot. Girl, it need to be grease okay it's ashy and it needs some grease but you don't need this for the sausage because that's what we put in there we all know sausage making own grease so that's just extra i already chopped up my sausage and i'm just throwing them in there ain't nothing to it. just throw it on in there like that now i'm one of them people who like they sausage burnt i ain't gonna lie it be burnt and i like it like that but once it get a little brown you can take yours up i want to see black on mine okay Everybody ain't like that. So you don't got to do none of that. But I'm going to do that. So we'll be back. All right. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. How I like mine. Y'all see that? That's what I mean. That's how I like mine. And you ain't got to like yours like this. Take it up earlier. But for me, we in the money. Oh, yeah. Them things looking right, baby. So I'm going to go ahead and take these up. And then start on our next thing. Y'all know I ain't going to lie to y'all. I ain't never did this before. But this is some steam fresh, super sweet corn. I just want to roast it. And I want to see if I can do it. So, we're going to try to roast it in here. Why not? Why can't we roast it up in here? Get a little charcoal on it. Let me see what I can do with this. I don't see why you can't, but I'm going I'm to see. Try to roast it up in this thing. Get a nice color. Oh, look at that color. Come on now, color. A little bit of salt and pepper goes a long way. That's enough. We're going to get this a good little mix. All right, y'all. We got our corn. You know you need that corn up in a seafood bowl, baby. Don't play. Don't play with them. Or don't play with them. I love the corn. That's like, honestly, like my favorite thing in the seafood bowl. I ain't going to hold you. Take these up. Y'all, I'm over here tearing that corn up. Hold on. Hold on, girl. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me get it out of the way. Hold on. All right. Keep it moving. You're just going to get you a stick of butter. And honestly, y'all, this is just a hot plate, which means you could just use a regular pan and do exactly what I'm doing. This ain't nothing special. This is honestly to keep me from having to wash so many dishes, child. It's just a one-stop shop. So, and plus this old faithful, I know y'all miss her. Don't act like you don't. While the pot is still hot, we're going to go ahead and place our shrimp in. Woo! I did it. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to keep it pretty light for the shrimp as well. Because, mind you, we're making our butter sauce. It's going to have a lot of seasonings in it. So, you don't want to do too much. But you do want everything to have its own flavor. That was some Obey. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of chicken bouillon on it. Just a hair like that much. That's enough. You want to take you some lemon. And just squeeze it on in there. Once you see the tails turning pink, that means it's time to flip these things over. I usually just do like this because it's all the seasonings and stuff. I'm like, look, just get comfortable with each other and call it a day. I ain't about to flip all y'all over individually. Who got time? I don't got the time. I'm going to take me a little garlic paste and just boop. Like that, so we can get that good garlic flavor on them shrimp. Oh my. Can y'all, I know y'all 
don't want to taste it through the screen. I wish you could, because it smells so delectable up in here, baby. I wouldn't lie to you now. It smells bomb. These shrimp done. You don't want to overcook your shrimp? So take them up. Last little dollop of daisy of butter. Go ahead and kind of move that around a little bit because I need you to get comfortable real quick because I got to do something. Another thing I ain't never done that I'm about to do. I don't see why it can't be done. I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm going to put some of this obey down. I'm going to sprinkle it like this. I know you're like, girl, what is you doing, baby? What is you doing? Girl, just trust the process, okay? I'm trusting myself. You got to trust me as well. We're going to take a little bit of chicken bouillon like that. Squeeze some lemon down like that. And I'm just going to place this lobster down just like that on top. Boom. Stay, stay right there, girl. Stay. Stay. Boom. Okay. And then cover that thing right on up like that. And let's see what happens because I really don't know. I ain't never did that before. That was my first time right there. That was my first time. We experimenting together. So let's see what's going on. Okay, let's turn it on. That's always a good sign. Okay. That look good. The bottom need to cook. Uh-uh, cook the bottom. No, no. It's raw under there. Boom. Cook the bottom. Thank you. Put the top back on. See what's happening in a couple minutes. Hold on, y'all. I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, y'all. It's time. It's time. I feel it. What we talking about? What we talking about up in here? We good? Y'all good? They good, y'all. It's time to take this up. It's time to take this up. Don't waste no time. All right, y'all. So, we're going to start with, well, two sticks of unsalted butter. And I know you're probably like, girl, the cholesterol. The way people eating all these seafood, but go over there and do that. Okay? All that butter y'all been eating. Talk about the cholesterol. Okay? This ain't the time. I didn't say this was healthy. Nobody said that. Also, we got a lot of things going into this butter sauce. And so we don't want it to be dry. Cause I don't like no dry food, baby. If you're going to put a sauce on something, make it saucy. All right? Don't play with the sauce. Don't be stingy. I don't like that. Don't worry about the little specks on it. I was using the spatula to try to make it hurry up. But it's just taking its time. So while that thing is moving slow as I don't know what, we're going to go ahead and add in our onions. And then let that simmer all the way down. Okay? All right, y'all. It's making a whole lot of noise up in here. So let me turn this down to between medium medium low like that because you don't want to burn your sauce so you don't want to have it all up high when you start adding them seasonings you want to make sure you take your time let everything pretty much simmer together so put it between medium and medium low so first things first y'all know we got to put obey in there now i'm not measuring this um at all but i would say maybe a teaspoon of everything and then whatever you like the most add a little bit more of that some adobo y'all know i love pepper so we got to put the pepper up in that thing some cajun persuasion a little creole garlic powder wait what is this it was garlic powder i didn't even know garlic powder onion powder paprika for color because you know we need that good old color now we need the color a little bit of laurel season salt just a hair not too much some sazon some sazon <laughs> i know somebody is cringing right now as i'm saying that some sazon whole packet in there yeah and then some sugar. I told y'all you gonna need the sugar because it helped balance everything out. You need it. Boom. Let's give this a nice little stir it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. What y'all talking about in there? What y'all y'all getting along? How y'all doing? Okay. <laughs> all right. Look like y'all doing all right. D lemon. Oh, a seed went in there. Whoops. All two seeds went in there. That one flew over there. Whoops. Lemon. All right, now let it simmer. All right, y'all. So it's looking delectable. I'm going to go ahead and take my seasoning from my noodle pack. Now, these are spicy noodles, and y'all know I do like spicy, spicy. So I'm going to add the seasoning from my noodle pack up in here. Okay, that should add 
some additional flavor. So I already put my noodles in. You don't want to overcook them because we're also going to put them in the sauce. If you like your noodles a little softer, I would probably wait to fully cook them in the, um, the butter sauce. I don't like soggy noodles. I don't like that. But it's all on preference. So whatever you want to do, hey, whatever floats your boat or finds your lost remote. I don't know what I'm talking about. Bye. Finally, it is time to put it all together and see what do we get. I'm going to go ahead and dump this crab meat in first. And I'm not going to do a lot, y'all, because I'm only making a little bit for myself. Put some shrimp in there. We just want to get everything coated with the seasoning. We want all of that, okay? Put some of that sausage up in there like that. Get you a little, well, I'm going to hold off on the corn because that's kind of a loose cannon. And we don't want it to get lost up in there. Take some of your noodles. I did drain all the water out of my noodles. Put some of your noodles up in here. Ooh, are y'all ready for this? I just know y'all. Y'all can't be. Y'all not ready for this for real. Y'all don't even know what just happened. Woo! Oh my God. And let this simmer. And then I'm going to plate it. And I'm going to show y'all how you can get real fancy with the plate in this stuff. Okay. So here we have it. Our seafood boiled ramen noodles. Yeah, you heard what I said. We got shrimp. We got sausage. We got crab meat. We got the boiled egg. We got the lobster. We got the corn. Okay. All submerged in our butter sauce. Yes. Topped with some green onions, baby. Get into it. Yum. Now, if you're trying to impress somebody, you can do ramen noodles or you can do ramen noodles. You know, it depends on who you got in your presence, okay? Baby, I don't got time to play around. Bow it. Amen. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I'm tired. But I really want to taste this. Oh my God, so bad. So you know I got I got to do it for y'all. I have to. But I can't overindulge because I'm really sleepy. I'm extremely sleepy. So we're going to try to get a little bit of everything. I got sausage and shrimp on this one bite. And some what a corn. One piece of corn. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Oh my God. What? To be honest, I'm actually blown away. Mmm. 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 Oh my God. What? I gotta take a piece of this lobster. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh my God. What? Enough is enough. Baby, the way that thing just hit that spot like that, the flavors is literally off the hook, okay? I'm going to have to head out today because I'm tired. I got to go to sleep. I got to get some rest. I've been up. I've been busy. I've been moving. I've been doing a whole lot. And honestly, all I want to do is sleep right now. So, I pray that you guys are having an amazing week. Please continue to strive for excellence, okay? Break barriers and do the impossible. With, uh, I'm, I'm already fall Now my eyes been closed that long. I feel like I was asleep. Look, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. All right, guys. Peace.